Hey everybody, I'm here today to talk to you about a GoPro Hero 8 camera that is not connecting to the computer. I'll be going over how to fix it easily in this very simplistic tutorial. Let's get right into the video. If you're trying to connect your GoPro Hero 8 black action camera to your computer and it's not connecting, it's not working, it's not reading it, this is the video for you. I'm going to be going over six specific things that you can try to do to hopefully solve the problem. Let's get right into the video. The first thing that you can do, number one, is to check the condition of the cable. Now, these cables, the cable that came with your GoPro, the official one, are really rugged and really durable. So most likely, most likely your cable is going to be perfectly fine. But take a look if it looks like it's severely bent in any, in any specific part. If it looks like it has a really, really hard bend, that could be a location where maybe it has disconnected. Okay. Um, take a look if there's any like uh, parts that have like scraped off, any exposed internals of it. You know, take a look at the condition of the actual ends of the cable. Make sure all of the pins look like they're okay. All of the connectors look, look like they're okay. And if, it, if you're concerned, about the cable go and get a new one and try with a new one okay so it could be the cable that's the problem the second thing that you need to look at or try is are both ends fully inserted in the camera and the computer so obviously one end is going to go in your GoPro and the other end is going to go in your computer you want to make sure that both ends are fully inserted so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to open this battery door right here one end is going to go in your GoPro obviously right there the other end is going to go in your computer if my cable was like this right here right it probably wouldn't work because I'm not making a complete connection or it might be very on and off depending on how it is, right? So it might be a little bit on and off, okay? So what you want to do is make sure it is fully inserted on both the camera side and the computer side, okay? The third thing to consider is, is your computer up to date? Now, you are probably assuming that it's the GoPro, but it might be your computer. If your computer is not up to date, if there's something going on with your computer, if your computer is really old, if it's just not really functioning properly, then it might be your computer, okay? Maybe your computer is unable to read the GoPro at this moment or at all completely. So with that being said, you wanna make sure your computer is not only up to date with regards to its operating system, its software, its hardware, its firmware, but also make sure that it is compatible with reading the GoPro. You can go look at the specifics online and make sure your computer will be able to read the GoPro. Now, most computers are capable of reading a GoPro, um, especially a GoPro Hero 8 Black action camera like this but you want to make sure that your computer is not the thing that is glitching okay number four so number three was once again is your computer up to date is your computer able to read the camera is it your computer's fault basically or is it the camera's fault that's what we're looking at okay so that brings us to number four which is is there a micro SD card in the camera and is it fully inserted now I'm going to open this door again, we'll remove the battery and you can see the micro SD card right there now if my micro SD card is like that no wonder my computer is not going to read the GoPro because the card isn't fully inserted. If I don't have a micro SD card at all, maybe you put it in a different device, right? A lot of times people will use the same micro SD card for different devices, different cameras, different smart home products, right? Then obviously it's not going to read it. So you want to make sure your micro SD card is in the camera, number one, and is fully inserted like that. Make sure it's nice and flush, as you can see right there. That's what it looks like when it's fully inserted, the right direction, the right orientation. Make sure everything's good with your micro SD card, okay? Number, and if it's not, then obviously fix it. That brings us to number five, which is, is the battery fully inserted? Now the battery can be put in the wrong way and the camera won't work, right? It slides in there, but it won't go all the way down. So obviously that could be part of the problem because you're not gonna be getting power to your camera. So make sure your battery is in the right orientation and it is also fully inserted like that and I'll tell you why the battery door makes sure that the battery is fully inserted but when you're connecting it to a computer your battery door is going to be open so make sure that that battery is nice and fully inserted so your camera is indeed getting power okay lastly is number six which is an alternative method to connect it to your computer you want to try just putting in the micro SD card directly into the computer so essentially you want to remove the battery you want to take out your micro SD card like that um, it can be a little bit hard to remove. Um, not, it's not difficult, but I'm looking at it through a camera screen, so it's always a little bit harder in this situation. There we go. Um, so you want to remove your micro SD card, and then you want to place it directly into the computer. So you can obviously get a micro SD card to SD card 
adapter. So it's a little SD card and it has a slot for the micro SD card to go in it. And then you can usually, most computers nowadays will have a an SD card reader in which you can go ahead and insert it, insert that SD card with the adapter. Um, now, with that being said, some computers might even actually have a micro SD card reader built into them. So if you're, you know, you want to essentially try and go directly from the micro SD card to the computer and try it that way. And that will let you know, is it the card that's the problem or is it the camera? If your card works fine, right, then it's a problem with your camera because your computer's reading the card. So the card and the computer seem to work fine, but it's more than likely going to be a problem with the camera or the cable, something in between the card and the computer. Okay. With that being said, hopefully you've enjoyed this video tutorial and hopefully one of these things helps you solve your problem. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.